Hello, beautiful audience sitting at home, or maybe you could be hideous. I, I have no idea, to be honest, because I can't see you. But uh, welcome to another episode of my talk series. I haven't done one of these in a while, but it seems that you guys like this shit. So you guys are like, yeah, talk series, yay. But uh, yeah, welcome to another talk series. It definitely is a lot of fun making these. I just sit here and kind of voice my opinion and uh, overall just talk about things. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about the difference between Twitch and uh, YouTube and the huge mentalities that uh, happened between the fan and the entertainer or the fan and the YouTuber or the fan and the live streamer. So as many of you guys know, um, I make YouTube videos, and I've been on YouTube for about two years now, and I also watch a lot of live streams. I, um, whether it be just League of Legends, uh, StarCraft 2 back in the day, uh, even speedruns, which, off topic, are crazy as balls, dude. I don't know how they do that, but moving on, um, yeah, I, I have seen a lot of uh, live streams and YouTube channels, and I've also been on YouTube, and I think that it's very interesting how two websites that are so similar in so many ways can have such a drastic difference when it comes to the mentality between the fans and the entertainer. It, it's really different mentality on both websites. So, um, before all of this, the reason why I'm talking about this video is uh, an animator of mine or a youtuber that i watch who animates and makes cartoons on youtube uh recently opened up a uh, patreon now patreon is basically a way where you can donate or support these youtubers as long as they make content and a lot of times it's one to two to three dollars a month as long as he uploads videos so i mean it's it, don't get the misconception that this is like fifty dollar donations and these aren't required you know to watch his videos you don't have to donate these this this money it's just if you wanted to support support him and uh basically all this video was was telling people that he had one and he was opening up one and if you wanted to support him you fucking good so of course there's not going to be any problems here right wrong it was more dislikes than there was likes what the fuck like it's not like he's saying give me money you know he's just stating that if you wanted to donate to him you could and after that, I already had feelings on this subject, but I feel like that was my, that was my, uh, that was my cue, man. That was like, that was the guy saying, you gotta do this, Leaf. You just gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. So I picked up the basketball and I was like, it's time to make the video. <laughs> but, um, yeah, into the mentalities. There's a huge difference between the mentality on Twitch and the mentality on YouTube. And, um... Uh, I'll get into the mentality on uh, Twitch first. So the mentality on Twitch between the fan and the live streamer uh, is very supportive in the sense that if you support the streamer, then uh, a lot of times you'll subscribe. You know, the, the, it's pretty cool. You know, if you think this guy's a pretty cool guy, you'll donate one or two dollars. You know, it's not a big deal. I'm not donating. You know, they're not donating fifty dollars. I mean, some people do, which are awesome, but they're not donating like four billion dollars. You know, they're not donating their college funds. It's one to three dollars, and it's just a quick little note saying. Hey, dude, I think you're a pretty cool guy, man. I think your live stream is entertaining, and overall, it doesn't cost me any money, so why not give you a few bucks? You know, this cable TV costs, what, like 40 bucks a month? This is free, you know? Why not help him out a bit? So, um, yeah, the, the mentality on uh, Twitch is very supportive. Uh, there's a donate button. If you subscribe, you donate $5 a month. And, uh, yeah, it's very supportive, but let's venture over to YouTube, right? where uh, a good example of the YouTube mentality is demonstrated in a video I just saw a few days ago. Uh, basically, in this video, it was a gaming video, and I, I think it was a Let's Play, but in the beginning of the Let's Play, he says that, uh, Hey guys, this video is brought to you by AmazonBooks.com, where you can read books and use this code, and it'll help me out. And there was dislikes. There was like 10% of the dislikes were because of that single 10-second advertisement. And, dude, that's pretty fucked up, dude. Like, you dislike the entire video just because he said this was brought to you by AmazonBooks.com. Forget the forget the 90% of the video, which is just good commentary. You're going to dislike the video because there's a 10-second advertisement in the beginning. And uh, that's pretty fucked up, dude. I'm not, there's no other way to sugarcoat it. It's pretty messed up. But uh, you can even see this in the Minecraft community, you know? 
you have a YouTuber that says, hey, look, uh, one of my friends is opening up a server. You guys should check it out if you guys want to. Server IP is blah, 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 blah. And everybody in the comments is like, dude, this guy's a fucking money whore. What the fuck? And I mean, ah, seriously, man. But, uh... Yeah, it, it's just crazy, the different type of mentality, and I think it springs because of uh, these huge YouTubers, and there's nothing wrong with these guys, first of all, but these huge YouTubers that uh, make like a house tour, and then uh, people think, oh, this, this is a really nice house, and then they go to an average YouTuber, you know, uh, definitely a smaller one, and then they see an advertisement, and they think that they're just trying to uh, whore them out, or they're a sellout, or something like that, which... I mean, obviously, there's a huge difference, but, uh, yeah, it was just something interesting I was thinking about. Uh, in conclusion, you know, just because he makes his three-second advertisement, four-second advertisement, or just a quick brought to you by, uh, Coca-Cola, I don't know. Uh, just because, you know, he does a quick little thing like that doesn't make him a sellout. Just because he uh, opens up a Patreon doesn't make him a, a blow-off. I, I don't know what you want to call him, but see, just be a little bit... Just think about things a little bit more, guys. And uh, don't do drugs. That's, a, that's definitely a conclusion that belongs in this video as well. Don't do drugs.